Once you've achieved success in your chosen career field like Ricky Skaggs, you don't have to go out and prove anything to anybody anymore. You just make the best music you can and thoroughly enjoy every single minute of it, even racking up tons of Grammy nominations along the way. Ricky has now taken the best of his country classics and put a new bluegrass twist on it for his new album. We cut up with Ricky to talk about the music and how this new 14 song project came about. Hi, I'm Kelly Lynn here today with Ricky Skaggs and we're going to talk about his new project, yeah. Country Hits Bluegrass Style. How are you? We would have thunk. I like it. Well, I like it. Thank now, you. what did you do? You went back and took all your number ones mm -hmm. and your greatest hits mm -hmm. and then just put a bluegrass twist on it? Pretty much, yeah. Um, we had a lot of fans that had, you know, that loved the bluegrass, but they loved the country as well. And uh, I kind of started playing bluegrass in 1997 when I came kind of out of the music row, the country thing, and I moved out to move my offices out to Hendersonville, where my my house is, and um, I have Skanks Family Records and everything. So. Um, it just, uh, it's just kind of been a bluegrass journey from, from 97 on up to the present day, but um, we, uh, we really wanted to do this record. You know, I wanted to do, uh, you know, because when we're on the road and we're doing a lot of bluegrass, you know, people kind of holler for Honey Open That Door and Heartbroke and Highway 40 Blues. Highway 40 Blues and Uncle Pen are kind of easy to do bluegrass, but uh, Honey Open That Door and Country Boy and some of those things are a little, a little harder to do. And of course, the real hardcore country things like uh, Crying My Heart Out Over You and Wouldn't Change You If I Could and I Don't Care and some of those songs that were real just c country sounding. A little harder to do uh, just with a bluegrass band. But we were able to arrange it, you know, a little different, you know, and, and it really came out great. Honey, won't you open it? I mean, this is bluegrass. This, this is, is it. just so a bluegrass. They want to hear country, country boy yeah. bluegrass. It is on here, Definitely. and they can get it anywhere. This is you're going to be out touring, and you're also going to have it in all the major markets. Yeah. It'll be in all the major markets, and uh, we're excited about it. You know, uh, it's a it's a great cover, great package, and uh, it's just it's just a fun record. I think people's going to really really enjoy it. Plus, I uh, also put a song on there called uh, uh, "Somebody's Praying." Uh, and probably since 9-11, it's probably been my most popular song uh, since 9-11 uh, since and the war and you know, all the wars, uh, plural, yeah, everything going on. People love this song. They find a lot of hope and a lot of comfort, especially uh, military wives and mil military moms and dads that uh, their kids are over there fighting, you know, for our freedom. So it's, it's, um, it's a great record, but it, it's on this record as well. Great, great. Now, talk a little bit about where you're going to be touring and, and what else you have going on that I know everybody well, we, wants to know about yeah, Ricky. Uh, well, we, we got some dates um, uh, in the south, you know, or the northeast that we're doing up in uh, Virginia and up in Vermont. We're going to be up in there as well. And uh, got some dates in California, got some dates in Colorado that we're doing out in Texas as well. And uh, we're doing some dates in Chicago. And so we're just kind of all over the map, you know, we're, we're a, little, a little bit of everywhere. So people should be able to get on the Skaggs Family Records uh, dot com and find out uh, you know where we are. Our, our website always has our dates on it. Um, also going up to Canada uh, in November to do a pretty long stint of dates up there as well. So uh, we're uh, we're everywhere. The miles are filled with bitter tears. Lord, I ain't been home in years. Not the highway for the blues. Did I hear about a book? Is there a book project that we can talk about? Yeah. Working on a book, it's an autobiography. Uh, working on it right now um, with a, kind of a ghost writer or co-writer helping me. Um, it's my life story, and it's really dredging up a lot of a uh, lot of great old memories of my my dad and my mom and and my family growing up, you know, and and just seeing how much my dad really poured into me, you know, musically and how he um, he never met a stranger. He he was always, I mean, he was the guy that introduced me to Earl Scruggs at the Grand Ole Opry here in Nashville back when I was seven years old that got me an audition to be on their television show and now wow. you can see it on YouTube when I was seven. But uh, my dad was always very, uh, very instrumental. It seemed like he was always right there at the right time and uh, the night that Ralph Stanley's bus broke down and we were asked to get up and play, me and Keith Whitley were playing together and so we were asked to get up and kind of be the entertainment at this bar, this beer joint, you know, uh, that Ralph Stanley was coming to later, you know, and how that particular night introduced us to Ralph Stanley and then Ralph Stanley hired us to take on the road and 
really meant so much to our careers back when we were just kids, you know, when we were 15, 16 years old, you know, and, uh, but those little things, those little stories, you know, that were just like little, little bread drops, you know, all along the way uh, in my career and how, how those things were so instrumental in, in, uh, in, my, in my future, you know, my, my, my music, especially today. You can still catch Ricky out on his current Treasure Chest Tour where he shares many of these new tracks with fans out on the road. Now it's time for our weekly songwriter tip brought to you by our friends at Nashville Songwriters Association International. This week we sit down with George Tarrant as he talks about chasing the radio. One mistake I see a lot of writers making is what I call chasing the radio. You hear what's hot on the radio right now and you go and try to write a song just like that. Well, the fact of the matter is, those songs were probably written over a year ago and aren't as fresh as when they were written. Artists, producers, and A&R people are looking for different kinds of songs all the time, not songs that are like the songs on the radio. So while it's important to keep the market in mind, it's even more important to try to come up with new grooves, angles, subject matter, and melodies for your songs. You can learn more about NSAI by visiting NashvilleSongwriters.com. That's about all the time we have for this week's show. Don't forget those new Ricky Skaggs discs we have up for grabs this week. If you want to enter this week's drawing, you have to head on over to InsideMusicRow.com to register. Now, for all the latest news and events, you can always check out our Facebook page, too. We're going to leave you today with that new video from Rascal Flatts. Here is Easy. Don't miss out next week when we catch up with the legendary Ronnie Millsap. Until next time, I'm Bailey for Inside Music Row, and I'll see you again real soon.